And we are underway in Buffalo. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Opening play, and Goff wants to pass it. Finds Gibbs on the check down. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Williams being motioned left. So a little tardy getting everyone set, and the clock hits zero before they could snap it. Yeah, you can take your time and use the clock and try and get set up, but once it gets near five seconds... That's when you often hear a quarterback yelling, hurry, hurry, to make sure everybody's ready to get the snap off. From the gun, here's Goff. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Leonard Floyd, and he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. So a big defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back for the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. And Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. And it's 7-0 Buffalo. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. I remember they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go-around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. On first down, gone. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll just get rid of it. And that's a lesson learned from the previous drive. Last time he forced one, and it turned into a pick six. Here, he knows better, and he just throws that one away. Here's second and ten. Throw to St. Brown, complete on the left side. 
He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Here's third and seven. They'll send a receiver in motion left. <laughs> Throwing again is gone. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 41-yard line. First carry now for David Montgomery. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Here's Goff now on second down. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked up by Leonard Floyd. And the Bills are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. A few things better than a big man interception. You can always tell right when they get the football, there's that level of excitement and nervousness and also like, what the heck do I do with this thing? <laughs> and you say no better sight? Well, not for the quarterback to just throw it. It's bad enough to throw a pick, but to throw one to the big guy? But you're right about that. Now what do I do with it? But what's fun about it is you know they're going to be in the film room after this ball game tell all their teammates, maybe I should shift over to offense. I've got skills. What do you think? <laughs> oh, absolutely. I always find myself cheering for them after they intercept it. Unfortunately here, he couldn't make it into the end zone. Now Allen. This is caught. Touchdown. Allen on target there to Stephon Diggs. And the Bills have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. That one good for 37 yards. Seems like all the fireworks in this first quarter have been on the other sideline. But here they're saying, hey, we've got some explosive guys on our side, too. And that's a big play in a game that's looking like it might be full of big plays. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. So you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one, and what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. First run of the game for Jameer Gibbs, the Alabama product. And it'll be a minimum pickup here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a third down coming up. Uh -huh. 
Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Goff on third down. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 12-yard line. Montgomery on the counter. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. From the three, second and a yard. Here's Gaw. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Goff wants to throw on third and one. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And in for the Lions, touchdown. Jameer Gibbs from three yards out. And the Lions are back within a score. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that'll make our score 14-7. to Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Here's Allen to throw it. The left side caught by Diggs. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Throwing on first down is Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second and a couple. Allen now looks to throw. Looking for his man on the out route, and he's got Diggs. And it's going to be another first down as he'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 32-yard line. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Again, they'll throw with Allen. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Looked like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there, and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. From the gun, it's Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Bills first down, and he was able to get it by play. A gain of eight on third and three. Throwing now is Allen. And this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. And the Lions will take over here at their own 12-yard line. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. 
The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. In motion goes the tight end. After the interception, here's Goff. Buying time to his left. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. And he'll bring it back to about the five-yard line. That's such a costly interception. Nearly a pick six, but now they're so close, they are knocking on the door for a touchdown. And I never want to get on any team for being aggressive because that's part of what their makeup is, and oftentimes it's successful. But in this case, you've got to be selective about it and make sure you take care of the football. That interception almost cost them six points. Now their defense has to run onto the field, probably giving the quarterback a few side eyes along the way. They've got to see if they can stop a score. To throw, it's Allen. Setting up the screen for Cook. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there because trying is one thing. We can second guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize that it's broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try and pick it off. Allen hit. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linebackers has got it. And nothing but daylight. And into the end zone, a scoop and score on the fumble return for the Detroit touchdown. And give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice. You're such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you do, do I ever. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And not an abundance of time remains on the clock, Charles, but you would think more than enough to try to extend this lead before intermission. And when you're talking about extending the lead, I think you're talking about aiming for the end zone because there is plenty of time for that. The fallback is to get three. But in your mind, you put six on the board right before the half. That's a heck of a dagger and great momentum to carry into the locker room. Allen will try again on second down. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Allen. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. I know you don't get anything extra for degree of difficulty, but maybe you should. He's done absolutely everything in this game today, including laying out for that one. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Here's Allen. 
He's got the hook up with Diggs. And the Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now Allen again. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Now a second and ten. Allen going to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Now Allen. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. And they got three yards. That's enough. A conversion, and now it's first and goal. A final shot before half for Allen. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Bills with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And despite the turnovers, Charles, and they had multiple in that first half, they still have the lead as they begin this third quarter. And they probably heard some conflicting tones at the half, don't you think? A lot of praise for what they did to get this lead, but also a little bit of scolding because they got to take better care of the football in the second half. But you and I both know the great leaders, they know how to give that little bit of vinegar in there and cover it with a big dose of honey. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Allen now on first down. And Cook has it, left side. And he is going to lose yardage here. Allen to throw once more. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Into the hands of the tight end, Dalton Kincaid. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. To the air, Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. Only able to gain a couple there, and that will bring up second down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Going right back to Knox, and again a completion. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. And now the Lions going to stop us momentarily as they call a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Check by 46. Watch the pass. 46. 
Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. A little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it's second down. Looking to throw. Allen. And complete right side to Cook. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. The Bills passing game getting him down the field. They've got another first down. Back to throw. Allen. Right back to Cook for another completion. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Allen looks to throw on second down. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Khalil Shakir, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is up to eight. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And he'll run straight into a wall of tacklers at the line of scrimmage. It's second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Golf. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, when the running game's not working, sometimes you just got to take a few more chances down the field. That's a good effort, but it winds up incomplete. Throwing on third, gone. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Goff now to throw. High throw, but he makes the catch. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Second down and four. Back to throw. Goff. They'll roll him out right. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Oh, this defense knows. Fourth quarter, they need to make a play. That one was right for the taking. Could have changed the complexion of the ball game. But it winds up incomplete. The Lions on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This is third and four. Here's Goff. 
And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. And he is going to have a Lions first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Golf. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Goff now looks to throw. St. Brown making the catch on the out route. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. And that's a much-needed first down right there. Look, they're down by eight. So logic says they don't have to get a touchdown out of this drive. But the way things are going, I don't know if I'd put it in the hands of my defense here. You might not get the ball back at all. So if a fourth down situation comes up, I'm thinking hard about going for it right here and right now. Now go off on first down. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Now gone. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And the Bills are going to take over at their own two-yard line. Oh, that's a beautiful read there by the safety. It's zone coverage, so he's just going to sit back and watch. He knows he can't get beat deep because he has the end line to protect him. So he can react to everything in front of him, and he makes a great break on the football and comes down with the interception. Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. And he's able to get this across the 10 before being taken down. Here's Allen on first and 10. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. He's got room past the 30. Down the right sideline. And he will step out of bounds, but not before he's all the way across the 50. I just love how they're going about trying to finish off this game. This is not an offense that's going to go into its shell. They're going to keep exploiting weaknesses where they see them. And that's a huge pickup there with the game in the balance. On first down, Allen. Pass delivered successfully to Knox on the out route. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They run the counter with Cook. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Allen to throw. Throw right side, caught by Davis. And he will have a Bills first down, and that should be that. To throw is Allen. That is caught by Shakir. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. So Allen's going to look to throw. 
Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. Brandon, that touchdown certainly looks like the clincher to me. Probably a little too much to overcome, don't you think? I would agree. I say at this stage of the game, that touchdown should seal the fate. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is up to 15 now. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here's first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. The clock reading 40 seconds. Here's second and 10. Goff now looking to throw. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Now a play fake, and it's gone. Now he's flushed out left. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.